Let's take a deep dive into the world of ETFs. Some interesting new pharma themes launched at Tema ETFs. Joining us, Moritz Pott is the founder and CEO at Tema ETFs. So Moritz, thanks for being here on the Schwab Network. You guys have some really interesting funds coming out. Uh, why sort of the theme centered around pharma? Let's start there. Yeah, we think the life sciences space is a space where there's very few ETF offerings, but it's frankly a space of immense innovation, immense value creation opportunity. And unlike broader tech, it's still heavily sold off from a valuation perspective. So what we are focusing on the three biggest areas of life sciences, oncology, cardiovascular metabolics, and neurology. The uh, neurology one uh, seems to be kind of a highlight right now, whereas I kind of think about some of the post-COVID themes, there's kind of return to the companies that are on the forefront of cancer, which were big, obviously, before COVID too. And then there's the obesity-centric stuff, which is kind of limited to a few main leaders. And then it seems like the neuroscience, Alzheimer's and other diseases that really fall under a, a pretty broad basket for neuroscience that seems to be a, another big area of opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I think we live in a world where obviously there's an aging population. In the US in 2024, there'll be more people aged over 65 than under 15 for the first time ever. And what that ultimately means is that there will be a, a greater prevalence and need for neurological disorder treatments. We've obviously seen significant you know, changes and significant improvements in how we treat disease like Alzheimer's. But the reality is that we're still in a relatively early stage of the disease you know, innovation cycle in, in life sciences, specifically in neurology. And what we're excited by is the new kinds of treatments that are coming out. And there was a game-changing breakthrough in Alzheimer's late last year that is expected to come to the market this year, but also, for example, gene editing to non-opioid pain treatments for depression. I think what COVID also revealed is beyond neurology specifically, there's also a big unmet need in the mental health space. What the MNTL ETF focuses on is the neuroscience and mental health space. The two are closely interlinked and the two are both seeing rapid innovation in unmet different corners of the market. Yeah, it seems like uh, to some degree neuroscience fits in with mental health as well uh, in a way that you can get a pretty interesting array of businesses here. How do you figure out uh, what goes in the basket? Walk me through kind of the methodology for what falls under the category for mental in particular. MNTL is the ETF that has the mental health and the neuroscience overlap. Yeah, MNTL is the first active ETF focused on neurological diseases and psychiatric disorders. This is a massive space. It's free Troy market cap, over 200 different companies listed in the space. It's run by a very experienced portfolio manager, he used to be head of life sciences at Rockefeller, was trained as a doctor at Yale University. He has a 25 year experience in life sciences investing. And you combine, combining our investment process with his investment experience, we believe this is an area where we can realize better outcomes for investors. The life sciences space ultimately has a, a multiple risks, scientific risk, financial risk, regulatory risk, commercialization risk. But the reality though is that you know, to manage these risks, you need experience. And that's why we have such an experienced portfolio manager with a bottom-up investment process overseen by a CIO to help us navigate these risks and ultimately identify the right opportunities in what is a very interesting and fast-growing space. What are your goals uh, in terms of uh, in terms of flows, in terms of assets? So where are you seeing the most interest so far? So I think our HRTS ticker is seeing the most interest so far, which is focused on the obesity and diabetes space, followed wow. by our CANC ticker for oncology. MNTL launched last week, but already seeing very strong flows in the first week. We've raised already over $10 million in the first five days of trading, which is encouraging. Okay. All right, very exciting stuff, uh, very interesting sectors, uh, key groups uh, as well uh, that uh, we need to keep an eye on. So appreciate the details. Thanks for taking us through it. Good stuff, Moritz. Thanks a lot. Moritz Pot joining us from Tenna ETFs.